so hi today we have uh, dr krishal and dr chintan with us dr chintan is a naturopath and dr krishal is an md pharma um so yeah i know this combination is really surprising i don't think anybody would have expected it so i'm really excited about this and let's get into this so dr chintan and somebody says naturopathy mm -hmm. I mean, I think naturopathy सबको लगता है कि काढ़ा पियो वो नेचुरपति होता है <laughs> आपके क्या थॉट्स है इस पे सो एनी थिंग इन नेचर दैट यू कैन यूज टू हील योर सेल्फ इज नेचुरपति ओके येस देर आर डिफरेंट पैथीज इन द साइंस ऑफ हीलिंग एज वी वुड रादर से समन हु चूजेस टू यूज मोर इंटीग्रेटिव प्रोसेस नेचुरल प्रोसेस इज अ नेचुरपैथ दैट्स अबाउट दैट Fair enough. Okay, so Dr. Krishal, don't you think that I think especially your colleagues would kind of frown upon this collaboration? <laughs> uh, I mean, this holistic medicine. I don't think people agree with it, or you know, they are very for it. So, how did you get into this? Like, why did you say no? I want to do this. It's true. It's true. People do frown. If if I tell a you know a colleague of mine, what is it? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That does happen because I think. Um, it comes from this whole idea of a being aware hmm. about what you're consuming and why you're consuming b um being also an acceptance of trying or following that pathway okay right comes a lot from where your upbringing is the how your education a lot of things right hmm. a lot of co factors uh we'll understand the significance of co factors as we talk about yeah. this thing yeah um uh, but yeah so Then it, it all comes together, and that's how the open. As a trained medical professional, right? That bias actually doesn't come in your education. That yeah. bias actually <laughs> comes comes just from the peer circle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The textbooks don't tell you that oh, you know what you have to be biased towards uh, uh, Ayurvedic practitioner or a naturopathic practitioner. That's not what it is. The the textbooks teach you science, which is fundamental biochemistry of things. Yeah. Uh, so as a pharmacologist we say there is a, there is there are textbooks on materia medicinia which is the pharmacopedias and they include a host of all everything which is available in, in nature is mentioned there mm. whether you choose to use it or not is a very individual choice okay so yeah so there is a great extent of medicines pharma drugs correct Are alkaloid based, plant based, plant based. Okay. So the science of it is actually coming from there, if you think about it. Yeah. How did you guys meet? So we met through a friend. Okay. And we just started conversing, and one thing led to another, and the crucial was like, hey, "Bhaiya, can we just collaborate? Can we do this? Because what we have, what we have been developing in the autoimmune space." is not done not heard of especially more so in india hmm. and somehow over the last 5 6 years india is actually a hot bed of autoimmunity back in the day like i i will recall cases from as uh, past as 2016 17 where one out of 50 people i, I would see would have a autoimmune disease oh which is technically that was the ratio then post 2018 19 post covid the numbers have jumped up to as high as 3 to 4 people out of every 10 people that we are seeing is a autoimmune patient so something as simple as rheumatoid arthritis or ankylosing spondylitis uh, gut dysbiosis fibromyalgia uh, hashimoto's thyroiditis these have just skyrocketed in the last 4 or 5 years and there are various reasons why we've reached here globally but we'll not go to the global statistics we'll stick to india because this is where we are but you mentioned is... indians uh, i think as you said one out of 50 indians right yes so why do you think that india as a specific uh, a lot has changed the way how we are leading our lives right uh, autoimmune disease is something where your own body is in a little layman language we say it is attacking your own body okay. okay it's not as simple as that but we'll break into the real you know headspace of what autoimmunity is literally 
and who can really help you and who cannot help you we'll break into that during our conversations as as you know we flow what approach will what approach will really help in autoimmunity because as of today there is no real cure in the conventional practices now when i say conventional practices that will also mean allopathy but that will also mean ayurveda that will also mean homeopathy none of them have a real answer and a lifetime successful management protocol where you can not only help reverse the disease for the patient but also manage it safely without damaging the case or the patient's organs as predominantly we have to somehow manage and somehow protect their liver and their kidneys so th- that type of a methodology had not come by and that is exactly the headspace that we guys started working in over over the last couple of years and that is where we made strides where today we can proudly say ke, you know what autoimmune disease hai understood noted aa jao chup chap